Hello and welcome back. This is Ashul Rafi once again. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can create and set up an email newsletter sign up form just like this one using Sumo for your WordPress website. So this is the sign up form which I have created for one of my client few minutes ago. And I thought why shouldn't I create a video to show you the process so that if you need this service to be uh, make it available for your WordPress website, you can simply follow and set for yourself. So without further ado, let me take you to my WordPress dashboard here and then let's go to plugins and then let's click on add new so that you'll be able to start adding the required plugin, which is Sumo. Let's find it out here, Sumo. And here is the plugin, which we have to install and activate. So let me click on install now. This is one of the best plugins for collecting email addresses of your readers. So, and it's time to click on activate. And here we go, we have got Sumo Me activated in our WordPress website. And now you are going to find this option as well as you can see so let's click on this settings option so that you will be able to start creating our um, sign up form from the scratch so here it is going to take me to my wordpress dashboard and from here we have to click on this my apps option and now we are seeing some starts but as a new uh, user you might you are not going to see this one you are going to be landed here right here on this forms page from where you just have to click on create form button here so here we go, we have got this default form. Now you'll be able to start customizing to this one so that you'll be able to place whatever you need here. But before I start customize this form and show you the process, let me talk about this my goal options. As you can see, currently it is selected to current collect emails, which is my intention. I want my visitors emails to be collected or um, I want to gather their email addresses for future email campaigns. Now you have this option, add a call to action button. If you want to uh, redirect your viewers to a specific page, specific sales page, you can simply go with add to call bu button from here, or you can gain more followers on your selected social media sites, as you can see here. So now let me, uh, or if you want, you can have a custom coded form as well, obviously, but let me go with collect emails. And then we are going to form type. You can select from these options. As you can see, I'm currently on pop-up form and we are working for a pop-up form, obviously. But if you want, you can select scroll box. You can select inline form. You can select a click trigger uh, pop-up so that whenever someone will click on a specific text or on a specific link, this pop-up form will be appeared to them. Or you can select welcome mat you can select smart bar on the top header section of your website but i'd love to go with pop-up form and now the template has been changed but if you want to start from the um, default one simply delete this one and you are going to find these options as you can see from templates i'm going to select this one but you you can you can simply select any of the free templates which you can find from this page all right so i'd love to go with the basic one which is this one and now i'd love to start customizing this form so let me change this one from join our newsletter i'd love to type out something else let's say um get uh, notified or get latest updates as an example now as you can see this uh text is with 23 pixels but if you want you can increase this uh, font size as well so let's say i want to give 30 pixels and you can change the font as well you can change the font weight from bold you can make it to normal or light whatever you want so i'd love to keep it bold as it is now and then let's change this text as well i'm going to make some adjustment here so let me type out please or let's say provide your best email to get um notified on my latest video and blog uploads or updates whatever you can write uh depending on your so let me just type out video uploads and blog posts it is looking nice all right and then you can make the, the adjustment again so you can increase the size of this text to let's say 21 if you want and now just take a look i've just made it a mess here but simply you can customize this form as you want as you can see i've just increased the size now we can simply drag and drop the information 
to give the proper alignment again so here we go our form is again in the right mode and from here you can select the form size you can see i'd love to go with extra large and then i'm going to give an animation which is going to be uh, you can set whatever you want but i like this animation mostly all right so now i would love to let's say i want to make a change here on this uh, form field on the placeholder so just take a look placeholder text i'd love to give it to enter your um, okay enter your best email all right and then you can increase the size of the font if you want but i'd love to keep as it is because uh, this is going to be looking odd if I change it to or increase the size and now let's say I want to change the text uh, font uh, text color as well actually the font um, the background color as well so let me just see the background actually the website form of my website here the color scheme actually so let's let's just go with this color which is kind of orange so I'm going to type out here uh, I'm going to take the color code let's say pixie Big Z. I'm going to take the color code which is this one control alter copy and let's take it here all right so now let's go back here and as you can see from background I'm going to select this one then I can simply change the color as I want right so subscribe now so now let's say I instead of this subscribe now I'd love to give something else so let's go a little bit up you are going to find this text and then I'm going to type out like submit submit only okay uh, or submit now all right so just take a look how it is looking like if you want you can customize more but I'd like to keep it as it is and one thing let's say I have just shown in my clients web page here I have added his uh, his image and his logo so I don't have a logo as of now so I'd love to skip this one but it is very simple if I show you the process here of adding this image you'll be able to add your logo pretty easily so let me take you back here on our WordPress backend and then I'd love to take some extra spaces right here all right and then I'd love to go here whatever whatever element extra element you want to add as you can see image text background button social close button etc etc there are many options or let's say radio group checkbox G, uh, GDPR whatever checkbox so here we go I want to add a background here so let me click here on this background and then I have to upload the image so let me select the image let's click on upload your media I'm going to upload this image wow this is too big so uh, it might going to take a lot of lot of time to uh, load this image so this is being uploaded uh, or actually it is already been uploaded here for one of my forms so I'm going to select this one let's click on select and it is going to be placed here as you can see come on the image size is too big um, and my internet connection is too slow <laughs> so I'm I'm begging your pardon for the inconveniences so here we go I've got the image already been uploaded and it's time to click here and let me see from fill mode we are going to take or get it to uh, let's say let's keep it covered now let me just shrink this image a little bit and here we go we can simply increase this not here increase the size and I'd love to increase this one a little bit okay just take a look how it is looking like as of now but if we if you if you spend more time it is it is going to you'll be able to set this thing so more nicely for sure all right so let's say i have just designed my template let me just give some extra spaces here so it will look nicer okay so i guess uh this is looking good all right and a little bit more here a little bit more here yeah so i think this is perfect and now i can simply add a border into the background of this um, sorry border of the background so let me just go here and you can see border I can simply select top left bottom right and I'm going to give the border white to let's say five pixels and then I can change the color of this border so let's go with this orange color which I have just copied so I'm going to paste the color code and just take a look how it is looking like now let's click on next and you are going to find this visibility option so now it is currently selected to smart mode and it is going to work like your um, the artificial intelligence of this somo tool is going to um, analyze your web page and they are going to show this pop-up form to your viewers when they are going to feel like this is the best time 
but I'd love to go with this manual mode for sure and then I would love to go with this timed and then let's select this one as you can see show pop up after five seconds whenever someone will visit my page right after five seconds this pop-up form should be uh, appeared and then here if a visitor hasn't seen a pop-up in let's say minute and I'm going to increase it to 15 minutes so in the interval of 15 minutes the pop-up form should not be appeared so whenever someone will visit my page they should spend like five seconds so that this pop-up form will be appeared and now let's set these display rules I'm going to add some rules so let me click here and let's go to pages and then I want this form to be appeared on our home page so let's select home page let's click on add this condition and after that let's go for another rule and I'd love to go with pages again then let's go for article page so whenever someone will read my articles they should see my pop-up form so let's say someone is visiting my web page from Google search results they should they should see this uh, pop-up form uh, for sure so let me select this one and after that let me yeah we can simply ignore the other settings available here which is the advanced setting I don't want to open this up now let me I've just missed something as you can see here I'd love to go you uh, take you to my goal page or in this page and then go to success so let's click here and just take a look we, we have got this demo success thing but I'd love to change this one from success I'd love to type out thank you for joining it is going to look more um, good here and I'd love to give here I'd love to change this text thank you so much for uh, submitting your email I will send you some helpful stuffs right in your inbox let's say this one okay so again we have made some mess here but let me just uh, make the correction here we are going to customize a little bit okay and I'm going to take it a little bit up and if you want you can simply change the font size as well by using these options but I'd love to keep them as there and I can I, I'd love to change this color for sure so I'm going to click here and then from background I'd love to change the color to this color so it is going to look uh, more color shamed and professional so now let's click on uh, next and after that we have selected this page as you can see visibility let's go for success and here you can set up an autoresponder welcome email so let's click on add new email I'd love to give an autoresponder welcome email, and I'm, I'd love to give like warm um, hi there um, okay um, warm welcome from Hajhorography or let's say high passive this is the website is high passive so I'd love to give high passive here all right and then we can simply skip this preview uh, text and then let me just give some name here um, welcome email and then you can use a custom email address but for now I'd love to keep it as it is no worries with this and then you can make some changes on this content as well so for example I'd love to add some more information hi there okay as an example now let's click on save email you just have to customize this information as you need and after that we have got these options so right after someone subscribe to your uh, newsletter sign up form or <laughs> newsletter form then if you have something to give them to download you can simply add that download page right here so that they are going to download redirect it to this download page automatically or you can redirect it to redirect them to a new web page or new post page or whatever it is all right so these are the options and you can give some of these uh, things as you can see that you can add your tracking pixel subscriber pixel click pixel and some other information but I'd love to skip them as of now now let's go for the next option here and this is one of the important page where you have to collect your email marketing platform so they're suggesting us to use their platform which is uh, sendfox from the sumo but I use MailChimp so you can simply click here on connect and then simply you have to sign up uh, signed in let me take you to MailChimp MailChimp.com here uh, you have to sign in using your account whatever platform you are using you might you might be using uh, constant contract campaign manager ever whatever it is simply sign in this account sign in with this account and then just click on connect 
and then click on connect it is going to load the details here all right and then if you want you can sorry if you if they ask you for the uh, what to say api key you can simply add that api key here and it will be connected so this was the simple process now what i'm going to do i'm going to click on publish and yeah i yeah so here we go we have got this form published so now if i just take you to my website from an incognito mode here and if i type out hypassive.com we are going to see that right after five seconds of visiting our web page we should see the pop-up form is appearing right in front of us so let's just wait and here we go we have got the pop-up form appeared and as you can see i have got this beautiful pop-up form which i have designed throughout this video and here it is appearing but as you can see this image is not loading yet because i have got some internet connectivity issue but our pop-up form is ready and here we go we have got the image as well and it is looking beautiful at least in my eyes you can let me know by commenting below your opinion how this pop-up form is looking like all right so this was it guys i believe you have found this video helpful and if you did please give this video a like and let me know your opinion by commenting below share this video to help your friends and subscribe to my channel to learn more about wordpress elementor and overall website development related videos thank you so much for watching and i have to see you in the next video bye bye